Welcome to Tom's Cubes and Games and today we'll look at changing appearances of the menu and of the game display. First for the top end menu we can press start, UI settings, theme set, and we can just choose a different theme. Press B to go back, and that's it. We've got a different theme. Let's try a different one. So we've got some uh, nice choices there. This is on the factory card that comes without updating the operating system. Okay, now let's just try quickly a uh, Game Boy Advance game. Now, personally, I don't like all these decorations and so on. And if I press, oh, she's turned the light back so we can see what we're doing. If I press select and X for the menu, we get this menu style called Ozone. So let's press select and double tap start to quit the game. Press start, game settings, and we'll move down and let's turn off decorations, whoops, put none, filter set none, shader set none. UI settings and we'll change from ozone to R GUI B for back, B for back start our game again now that's the R GUI menu let's press back B to go back up the menu system, move down to settings, move down to user interface, second one down appearance, Now I'm going to change the menu colour theme. I find that one clearer. I'm going to click shadow effect to make it the text stand out better. And near the top, uh, background filler thickness will uncheck that and it makes it a finer background, just makes it easier to see. Let's go back. Quick menu, resume. So we're playing our game and we think, okay, let's change the overall aspect ratio. Right, let's just get it on to the game screen.
Now I'll pull up the retro arch menu again. B to go up the menu system. We want settings. Move up. It's near the top of the list. Video. Second one down, scaling. I've just moved down to aspect ratio and we can just go through and see which one we like. If for whatever reason it goes wrong, just select aspect ratio and look for core provided. Choose core provided and that will be perfect. In this case, core provided is 3-2. Another option is custom and then you can just literally tap in whatever numbers you want. Oh, how do I quit this without actually typing anything in? There we go, just press enter without entering anything. So you can type in whatever you like and you can also change X, Y position of the display. So if I wanted to do something really odd, I could type in, let's have a, um, like a weird display, very small, let's say 400, enter that. Uh, and then I could move the X position if I wish. Let's put in something random. And that's now moved it 78 pixels in. Uh, and then, oh no, what's gone wrong? Let's just put it back to core provided. There it is. And it's all fine. And there you go, that's how you can stretch the screen however you like. Okay, so let's do one quick more example. So select an X for the menu, press B to go up. Move to settings, choose video, choose scaling, aspect ratio, and then you can make a selection in the list or cycle through them. Now, whatever you choose won't be saved permanently at this stage. So if I go back to the game, I can play this game and when I quit back to the main top end menu, it will have forgotten what I just did. So if I go back to the game, it's resumed the original aspect ratio. So to change it per, per permanently, go back to the top menu and we just change it in this top menu. Now we've been able to experiment and see what it looks like. We've made our decision. So we just move to game settings. Near the bottom, per system advanced configuration. We want Game Boy Advance. And then we can change the aspect ratio here. So if I change it to one to one, let's just uh, it'll now be like that. 
and if I want to experiment again, it's easier to experiment in the retro arch menu. And then once you've made your decision, quit back up to the emulec, sorry, emulation station menu, and then do it from the game settings near the bottom per system advanced configuration. I hope you found that useful. Thank you for watching. Bye.